We're talking today with John Pierce, a man who spent 35 years at Bell Labs and is currently with the California Institute of Technology. Mr. Pierce, uh, what would you say is the most significant advancement in telecommunications that's brought the telephone to where it is today? I uh, think that the uh, transistor is the, uh, has the largest impact of recent inventions, and of course that goes back to 1948. It makes apparatus much more cheap and uh, much more reliable, especially in switching. What uh, do you see uh, as any current technology that we might look back another hundred years from now and, and point to in this regard? I think that optical fibers are the uh, most important uh, thing that we will uh, look back on. Uh, sand is cheaper than copper, and optical fibers are smaller than wires and broader band. And eventually, I expect that they will make broadband circuits, even of television bandwidth in the homes, as cheap as uh, telephone wires are now. And speaking of our homes and everyday uses, what are some of the kind of futuristic uh, uh, applications of the new transmission apparatus? Uh, most of the uh, applications are rather futuristic uh, because terminals for anything but telephony are much more expensive than the good old uh, telephone set. It's really a remarkable thing. It serves all uh, normal people, at least those who have hands to pick it up. And it's so much cheaper than even an electric typewriter, let alone a computer terminal. I feel that uh, to get into new applications, somebody has to invent or devise a cheap terminal that will do other things, whether it's uh, graphical uh, communication or text, as in the uh, teletypewriter. Uh, it's been said that our technology has sort of outpaced our applications of that technology. Would you agree with that? Oh, no. We're stuck uh, for technology in uh, many respects. Uh, data communication, communication with computers, is stuck because the terminals are too expensive. In fact, you can buy a hand calculator that is cheaper than any terminal you can buy to uh, call a computer, so you have the hand calculator. And uh, in other things, too, uh, television, broadband transmission, until we have the optical fiber, will be uh, too expensive to have in the home, as I'm afraid uh, picture phone proved. Do you think the optical fiber is going to be the sort of savior of many of these uh, applications? Oh, I think it uh, will be, together with the communication satellite, which isn't quite as revolutionary as the optical fiber. Uh, I think we'll have uh, a real revolution in communication, but all you can do is predict that it will come. You can't predict when it will come, because people thought of television long before we had television. Uh, people can imagine things, but what they can't predict is when they will be cheap enough to be worthwhile. And what do you think uh, are the most significant contributions the telephone has made to our society in the last 100 years? Uh, the telephone has worked with other things, uh, the automobile in particular, and the airplane to allow a sort of life and activity that is dispersed uh, while be being highly organized. The Bell system is an example of this. It's really highly organized, but it's dispersed all over the country in its uh, manufacturing and its development, indeed, even in its uh, research as well it's, as in its operations. And there are many other enterprises which are similarly dispersed all over the country and yet are highly organized and highly unified. And indeed, families are dispersed. There are children in universities, but they never need feel out of touch with their parents because they can always pick up the telephone and call home. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Pierce. We've been speaking with John Pierce from the California Institute of Technology. This is Pat McCallum for AT&T Monitor.